So we learned how to turn fractions into decimals in the previous section using a calculator. We now have a written method that would allow us to do it without a calculator. So if I want to convert two-fifths into a decimal, I know I need to do the numerator divided by the denominator. So 2 divided by 5. So 2 divided by 5. Now 5's going to do 0 times with 2 remainder. So I'm going to have to bring in a 0 and a decimal point. 5's into 20 go 4. So I now know that 2 fifths must be equal to 0 0.4. Okay, so I can do my short division method here to convert a fraction into a decimal. Let's take a look at 3 eighths. So 3 eighths is the same as 3 divided by 8. So 3 divided by 8. 8 into 3 goes 0 with 3 remainder, bringing a 0 and decimal point. Now 8 into 30 go 3. So 3 8 to 24 with 6 left over, bringing a 0. 8 into 60 go 7. 8 7 to 56 with 4 left over, bringing a 0. 8 into 40 go 5. So we get 0 0.375. That is 3 eighths as a decimal. And the last one is 7 over 20. So 7 divided by 20. So 7 divided by 20. 20 is into 7 go 0, remainder 7. So we've got to bring in the 0 and the decimal point. 20s into 70 are going to go 3 times with 10 left over, because 3 20s are 60. We need to bring in a 0. 20s into 100 go 5. So 7 over 20 is the same as 0 0.35.